of GPA in his or her class, and who has shown consistent and exemplary scholarship in his or her four-year academic career at MCP. Would Natalie Zawalik please step forward to be recognized at this time. Natalie's teachers describe her as smart, community-minded, talented, gracious, and humble. Natalie's intellectual curiosity has allowed her to embrace learning as its own journey. She also has a genuine interest in doing good for others and often exceeds expectations in biology and English and has achieved an honor roll with distinction. She is recognized as an AP scholar and is a member of the National Society of High School Scholars. Natalie has taken six AP as well as two college courses earning a cumulative GPA of 4.62 her junior year. That's cheating. <laughs> Natalie's excellence extends beyond the walls of this campus as she has volunteered graciously with Gleaning, dedicated many hours to helping out at French Hospital, and spent over 200 hours as a teacher's assistant at a local preschool. She is also a dedicated dancer as part of a local dance school, spending over 10 hours per week in classes and rehearsal. She has been playing the piano since age five, played the clarinet in the school band, and enjoys painting as well as reading. Natalie is a true Renaissance woman with an extraordinary ability to manage the demands of a tough academic load while also spending long hours in pursuit of other interests. She aspires to obtain a doctorate in biochemistry and teach at a collegiate level while doing research. Natalie is already making a difference in this world and we're excited to see her at the University of, Cali of California at Los Angeles next year. Please join me in congratulating the 2017 Mission College Preparatory Valedictorian, Natalie Zawala. Keep bear with me, guys. Okay. Um, well, thank you, guys. That was really nice. <laughs> uh, I just want to take a moment to thank everyone that uh, came today to support the graduating class of 2017. You guys are amazing. Uh, parents, grandparents, siblings, teachers, friends, each and every one of you has left an impression on a graduate's life. I don't think any of us would be standing up here today without you. So thank you, guys. You guys are the best. The lessons you have taught us and the love that you have given us has made us who we are and has set us up for a successful future. We are embarking on a journey into the real world, a world of taxes, endless cups of coffee, pulling all-nighters, and of course Top Ramen. <laughs> and each one of us will have a different experience with this world. We are all unique and we will all have different futures, great futures, ones of engineering, medicine, writing, global relations, and more. But we all have one common foundation, the traditions that were set at Mission College Preparatory. Before I continue, I would like to take a moment to talk about the importance of traditions. Traditions are beliefs, customs, or practices that are handed down from one generation to another. For some, this may mean the customary response to stubbing your toe on the door frame is swearing loudly, <laughs> right? just as your father did when you were five. We learned that. For others, traditions might mean coming together for Thanksgiving dinner. For me, a tradition is something that captures the essence of a person or a time in one's life, preserving it as long as the tradition is kept alive. My grandpa died a few years ago on the, um, the fifth day of March. Um, he was a man who valued traditions. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> um, the last thing he ate was his favorite chocolate ice cream. <laughs> and so now, on the fifth of every month, 
My entire family eats chocolate ice cream to remember Papa Jim. Art Grandpa has kept alive in our hearts. So that's that. <laughs> um, on a lighter note, <laughs> we also have the tradition of setting fire to various things while attempting to cook. <laughs> all right, so we keep this tradition in memoriam of all the times we work together as a family to keep the house from burning down. <laughs> anyway, traditions are kept to remind us of a different time and how we would not be the same without that one person who helped us when we really needed it. The class of 2017 has made quite a difference at MCP, and we've created quite a few traditions of our own. As seniors, we have upheld traditions, such as walking on the mission seal in the Mosaic Lobby, hiking up the M twice, and causing chaos in the halls on our last day. But we've created new traditions as well, designing new ways to collect food for those in need, forming bonds with the freshman class through the Senior Legacy Project, and expressing ourselves through the expanded arts and school spirit programs. Now, as we step out into the real world today, we can find comfort and strength in the traditions that we set at Mission College Preparatory. When we came to MCP as rambunctious freshmen, we were immediately identified as the largest class to ever enter Mission. We were timid at first, right, as all freshmen are, but sophomore year, we started out strong by blatantly misspelling sophomore on our class banner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we left it like that the entire year. <laughs> <laughs> However, we quickly made up for it when we bested the senior class in the Spirit Points competition by managing to steal every class banner during homecoming week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So after sophomore year, we became known as the most spirited class. Junior year, we became confident in asserting our opinions in our classes. We continued this practice even in our senior year. So after junior year, we were deemed the most opinionated class. Sorry, Mr. Garrity, if you're over there. <laughs> Admittedly, senior year is a tough year. College applications, AP classes, and community service. But it came with small victories, such as overcoming senioritis, finding the willpower to only watch one season of our favorite show on Netflix per day, <laughs> and finally learning how to operate family connection. Thanks, Mrs. Ham. <laughs> While we weren't a perfect class, we worked hard and we pulled it together in the end. Miss Randall said it best when she was talking to Honors Chemistry 2 the other day. She said we were the most inquisitive class to ever come through mission, and we're not afraid to help ourselves succeed. Each and every one of us has worked so hard to come up here today. And we know that we're just a tile in the mosaic of MCP, but we hope that we have left a legacy so that when we leave here today, the school will remember us as rambunctious, spirited, opinionated, dedicated, and passionate people. And we will be able to remember each other by keeping the memories we made here alive through the traditions we formed at MCP. Mission is unique in its inclusion of people who come from a variety of backgrounds. The retreat program at MCP is something that brought us together as a class and as a unique group of individuals. Starting in the freshman retreat and culminating in the Kairos retreat, we learned more about each other, community, and our own distinct faiths. We realized that our hearts and souls are better when we come together. We came to realize how the strength of the bonds between people makes each one of us stronger, kinder, and more appreciative of each other's journey. This shared experience became more than just a practical awareness, but a spiritual one. We made Kairos our own, creating new traditions and forming foundations for the rest of our lives, linking us together, making us stronger and wiser. I mentioned earlier how each one of us is going to have a completely different future. This is because we have an extremely unique group of people up here today. Future engineers, scientists, doctors, writers, artists, actors, athletes, and even a mathematician or two. Who knows, this could be the class that eradicates global hunger, finds a cure for debilitating diseases, or even brings mullets back into style. <laughs> the possibilities are endless for this class. 
We are a group of curious and driven individuals who will leave mission equipped with the memories, experiences, and traditions we formed here, prepared for whatever the future may hold. Our experiences at mission have laid the foundation of our character. And even though we will be rambunctious freshmen yet again next year, and college will be a clean slate, we will always have the traditions that we set at mission prep to remind us of who we are. The world we're heading out into is one of uncertainty, but if anyone's going to make it a better place, it is this class, the Mission College Preparatory Class of 2017. Thank you. Woo!